So the whole thing all together is gonna sound like this. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Start over on the F. So two Fs, two E flats, one D flat, and you hit on C, and then two more Fs. And when you hit the C, what's your right hand doing? The E diminished. Okay. What, which is with, the, with just the second one? Yeah. One. Yeah. And one. So all of them hit on the set. You you play together at the same place. And which you, do you hold the C? the right hand down? Uh, no. When you hit, like when we say oh. hit, oh. Boom, Got it. boom, short so that uh, there's a big space. Now, um, the way to practice this, every time you sit to practice it, uh, you want to start with one hand, start with the other hand, uh, I mean, go with the other hand, then just play the chords together, and then try to do it um, with the rhythm. And this and, is a bossa nova? Yeah. It doesn't sound like a bossa nova yet. It will. Yeah. Okay. It's... This is that. That's a bossa nova bass line. Oops. So it's just a, it's a bit faster. Okay. But it doesn't have to be that fast, actually. This one is... Yeah. Uh, there's different of bass lines too but um, this is the like cocktail jazz version um, so again just to go through that one more time when you practice step one uh, just play the chords play the chords of step one you got an F power chord here A flat major triad up here which um, makes an F minor seven you have your if we reduce it, put the F up here, we have an F minor triad with a flat seven up here, which makes it a minor seven. Uh, so it's F minor seven. Then you have E flat seven. So you got your E flat power chord, G diminished. If we put them together, we have E flat major triad with a flat seven, which makes it an E flat dominant seven. Same thing here, we have a D flat seven. So you have D flat major with a flat seven and C seven. C major with a flat seven. C dominant and seven. What is this technique of splitting the chords called? How could I say quickly do a F sat F minor seventh chord split? How could I say that? Um, I don't think that there is really a terminology. The, what we say is this is how we're voicing the chord. But um, when you <clears throat> when you're voicing chords. Uh, what you're doing is you you take a root position chord, right? This is a root position chord. Uh, F minor seven has F A flat C E flat. What this is telling our brain is that those are the notes that we're trying to play. And when you are uh, creating an arrangement, a composition, if you're improvising, if you know that the chord is F minor seven you're gonna make decisions as to how to voice that chord. So I can voice it this way, or I could voice it this way, or I could go, you know, anything really. Uh, any combination of Fs, A flats, Cs, and E flats, but there's no specific name okay, okay. for any of them. So after you've played the chord's hands together, then just review. It's really important that you re review this stuff all the time. Uh, so you're going to start with your left hand here, you go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight, one, then you start over. So do that a few times, you know, um, 
the hands separate should be easy before you try to put them together. Because putting them together is really difficult. So if you're having trouble with anything in either of the hands, it's going to be really difficult. Uh, and then just take your right hand and make sure you're playing all the chords right. Get, decide on your fingering, make sure everything is solid, and then put it together very slowly. Don't worry about little pauses. Uh, in, the tr in the transitions especially, you're going to pause in the transitions. Um, but you, if, after you practice it for a little bit, um, those will be able to smooth those out. But in the beginning, it, it really does take time for your brain. Uh, you got to build those synaptic bridges. <laughs> uh, okay.